Hello everybody and thanks again for stopping by my shed of ready control goodness. What have we got for you today? Well this model, uh, the Magic Speed X52 HD has been out for a little while now. It's still available but I wanted to share it with you or share my thoughts of it with you. As you can see it looks very much like the Phantom 1 or the Phantom 2 possibly. Um, <laughs> A little bit of a mixed message here. It says here, yeah, toy level professional machine. So make of that what you will. Uh, available in three different colours. Um, I've got the white one. Um, as you can see here, it comes with um, an app ready to install into your mobile phone. It doesn't have to be 5G. Um, uh, 4G will do. Um, right, let's take a look. At the contents right, of the okay. box. I've now got the uh, quadcopter assembled. As you can see, it does look very much like a Phantom One. Um, right, reading over the instructions, I can't understand why there is a USB um, micro SD card reader here because um, the video recording is done via the app. There is no uh, slot for a micro SD card here at all. You will notice I've put some little um, uh, some little pads on there just to raise it just a little bit to not to put too much stress on the Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, I've also added a little bit of dampening here uh, because there was quite a bit of jello when I first flew this. Now the motor which should be operated via the transmitter uh, you should be able to turn or turn the camera slightly down slightly up it burnt out as soon as I connected it so that doesn't work so the best thing to do is uh, the camera is quite stiff but you can adjust it to wherever you want I tend to have it facing forward very slightly down keeps the props out of the way uh, gives you a little bit of a horizon but mainly focuses on the ground you're flying over uh, the battery is a 3.7 volt uh, 500 milliamp bat uh, battery with a micro lossy controller should be good for a flight I, I tend not to overstress the battery so I'll leave it for about five or six minutes okay what we do we quickly connect this up and in common with most brushed quadcopters uh, oh, this does ha have a switch down here to switch it on. There we go. You can see that's flashing away there. we we'll turn the transmitter on. And it's up and down to bind. Uh, right, the buttons we have here are, this is your free speeds, or your rate switch if you like, one, two and three. This button here is for your flips I believe uh, no this is not uh, there's two styles of transmitter here uh, we're looking at this one so this is for your lights on and off these buttons are nothing they're just mouldings this is a takeoff button this is a land emergency stop button um, so that is your emergency stop button this is your land button this is your headless mode or hopeless mode and this button over here is return return to home once again uh, as always with all these brush quadcopters it will come back to you in a general direction it won't necessarily stop where you are it will continue flying it's just to enable you not to lose sight of it and um, and it will come back to you in what orientation, whatever orientation it's in. So, as you know, this is a Wi-Fi quadcopter. Um, I've already downloaded the the app. Um, I've already flown it several times. So, what we do, we go into settings, and we go into our Wi-Fi. You can see there, it's already picked it, picked it up. As always, I forget it. Go back into it again. Click on it once again. You can press cancel if you like. Come out of that, and hopefully, very shortly, uh, the mobile phone's going to 
give me a notification which is just done press yes okay so now what we need to do we need to find the I think it's the FYD FPV app if my memory serves me right let's see if that's gonna there we go right press play there we go and there we have video feed tiny bit of lag not too much let's see if we can take a photograph and the way you do that is with this button here next to the the throttle I believe if it's up for a photograph no it's not gonna do that okay never mind um, but we'll take a photograph with the app there we go a little bit of a delayed reaction there but that seems to uh, work okay we'll take a very very quick video and if you can see there the counter is flashing and there we go that's lovely okay let's take it out for a very very quick flight I'm going to put it into high rates the winds beginning to build up speed outside so uh, this is a very light quadcopter although in the past in a wider area it's been quite successful and I've previously uploaded a, uh, a video for this uh, flying out outdoors in a wide space so um, okay I'll see you again in the garden we'll have a very quick flight okay so we're out in the garden and we're going to have a quick test flight of the uh, magic speed x52 hd the wind is coming towards me uh, it's coming from the southeast it's around about 15 miles an hour a little bit sheltered in the garden um, but nevertheless the wind will affect this it's been it's quite light it's just a tie grade quad quadcopter so we'll i'll take a very uh, a quick still that's done that and we'll start the video rolling and uh, I'll download the video onto um, onto the review so you can have a quick look we'll now put it into th uh, rate 3 which I think is what it's going to be needed to cope with the wind that we've got now and we're going to launch using the one key launch button And as you can see, the wind is beginning to affect it. We lower it just a little bit. Ideally, you need to be indoors for this little drone. Right, the wind just died a little bit. Hopefully, it's going to be stable enough to give us some uh, video. I think, however, um, a HD camera in this little, in a, in a toy grey cockpit, there's no mean feat. Right, let's press the land button and uh, see how well it lands. Although I suspect the wind is going to affect it. Well, 
Well, there we go. I was quite surprised about that. That managed to land in, in one piece or at least the right way up. Okay, so that's a quick flight of the Magic Speed X52 HD. Um, I'll download the footage that has come from this via the Wi Fi and uh, you can take a look for yourself. But um, if you can see here, it's quite a good um, it's quite a good image that I'm receiving on the screen via the Wi-Fi uh, with this thing you're not going to go that far away for it to break up I'd say the range on this is probably 60 meters at the very most anyway thank you for watching and um, see you later cheerio